what we basically wanted to do was uh, make a music stream app, stream music through Wi-Fi Direct. What I mean is like, you will have a home group where all of your devices will be connected. So what usually we do is stream through Wi-Fi. What happens is it goes to the portable hotspot and from to the target. It takes time, there the lag, lag happens. So if we use Wi-Fi Direct, it's one-to-one -one connection, there will not be lag. So that was, our, that was our plan and it will be similar to Samsung Group Play and we wanted to explore, uh, bring Samsung Group Play to all other Android devices. So that's what we wanted to do. So we have three parts. One will be the music player where you can select the music and stream it across your Wi-Fi devices. One will be the Wi-Fi direct part where you discover your peers and select which, which, are, the, which are the devices you want to stream music to. And one will be the actual streaming where you create the home group and stream to the devices. So what we have achieved is like Wi-Fi direct part, we are able to discover peers and connect to them. In streaming part, we are able to stream music to our home group. And uh, music player part, we are just done with listening to the music. So maybe we can show the streaming. And there are so many problems with bit rates, so we have to look into that. So our app basically, the first page of our app is we will retrieve all the audio files, mp3 and wave files from it and we list it in a list view. So first you can select the song which you want to stream it. So first I am selecting it. And the second screen is like, I am going to play the song. So before this, already we have joined, uh, we have created a portable a hotspot and we are connected to it. So I am going to play the song. So they are listening to the particular socket. So I am going to play it. There has been some singing problem, there are lags. No, it's based on each music file. Each music file has a different bitrate. Now based on the bitrate, you should very uh, fine tune your byte array. Now how you send your uh, data through the socket. So that is the problem we have. Now we need to no, optimize it. So and also we are creating asynchronous threads. I think the second time it may come in sync. So one more idea we have is like caching the bytes for some time and then playing. Maybe 2000 bytes we will cache and then when all the devices got the 2000 bytes then we can play. Now it will be more synchronous. So that's what we are planning. So, so right now we are streaming only wave audio files because that is uh, less bit rate and the file is less so we can stream it across. So we need to figure out the algorithm so we can just in which the bit rate is sensed or more. So the more devices that you connect, yeah. that may also like increase the cost like because it. of the uh, yeah. yeah. in the and, uh, So are there any other wide eye music streaming solutions available? Yeah, there is something called a sound seeder. Okay. Now they have two apps, like one will be the streaming and one one will be seeding. No, one will be streaming and one will be the listener. Okay. And no, so that is what we want to avoid. Avoid. It is basically you don't need two apps to do the same thing. So we want to avoid that and we see how can how we can make it better. No, and they are not using Wi-Fi direct. They are using just Wi-Fi actually. and streaming. And it's only above you know for higher end models of Samsung only uh, the group uh, group play Samsung. for all Samsung. What was the choice behind uh, Wave uh, because it's generally considered uncompressed format. Yes, no, we tried with MP3 initially, no, it was not proper. Then we tried with Wave, it was proper. So we thought we'll fine tune this and then we'll go to MP3. So that was... Uh... Okay. Okay, so...